Welcome to the Best Coast Shire Council Report, your weekly update on council news and events. Hi, I'm Lauren Grills. And I'm Steve Fury. Thanks for tuning in. This week we'll be talking about a special Anzac photographic exhibition. There's also a new footpath to help families park and ride to school in Coronella. But first, Phillip Island's 150th celebrations need your help. That's right, Lauren. Phillip Island is gearing up for one heck of a party when it celebrates 150 years since European settlement in 2018. And we're looking for people to help make it the event of the sesquicentennial. Wow. <laughs> I know, Lauren. Just because it's a real word, it doesn't mean I should use it. The Phillip Island 150th Celebrations Planning Committee is putting the call out for all island community organisations to help make the landmark year a huge success by hosting a special event. The planning committee recently sent out hundreds of letters to local clubs, service groups and other community organisations, asking them to recognise the significance of the year and inviting them to mark their event on the calendar, which will give all island residents and visitors a chance to get involved. The committee is now accepting ideas and please keep in mind it can be an event already in your organisation calendar but with a 150th anniversary angle on it or could be a brand new event to mark the occasion. To register your interest just email philipisland150 at bascoast.vic.gov.au From one significant event to another, Anzac Day is being celebrated in Bass Coast this year with a visit from a photography exhibition featuring First World War photographs taken by Sir Charles Ryan. A Camera on Gallipoli is a digital exhibition from the Australian War Memorial that Council successfully applied for through an expression of interest. Pretty interesting history, Lauren. In 1914, at the age of 61, Sir Charles Ryan was appointed as a consulting surgeon to the Australian Imperial Force of the AIF and embarked from Melbourne in October towards the Middle East and on to Gallipoli. The exhibition showcases a series of 39 candid photographs captured by Sir Charles Ryan while he served with the AIF in Turkey in 1915. The photographs really portray the reality behind the 1915 Gallipoli campaign, depicting a unique and often harsh view of our soldiers' experiences. Sir Charles Ryan also managed to capture the true spirit of the Australian soldiers who fought at Gallipoli. Their mateship, stoicism and endurance underpin the photographs and embody the meaning of the Anzac spirit. Behind the photographs in the exhibition is the story of Sir Charles Ryan's remarkable life. He served as a doctor with the Turkish army in 1877 to 78, treated Ned Kelly at Glenrowan, was a leading Melbourne surgeon and gave long service as a senior military officer. He was extended high civil and military recognition by his peers. Now this is an exhibition we highly recommend checking out. A camera on Gallipoli is on display at the Inverloch Community Hub from the 19th until the 31st of March. It's at the Phillip Island RSL from the 11th to the 28th of April and at the Wonthaggy Plaza from the 29th of April until the 5th of May. Bass Valley Primary School in Coronella is located in an isolated rural area between a number of small towns, meaning there's limited opportunity for children to walk or ride to school. In fact, only one of the 185 students currently walks to school, whilst all others arrive by car or bus. Now, currently there's no path or track for students to walk or ride on but thanks to a grant from the Park and Walk Grants Program which is supported by Vic Health, Council has recently started construction on a 600 metre long path from the V-Line car park on Bass Highway to the primary school and although students might not be able to walk or ride the whole way to school, once the path's built it will mean parents can park at the V-Line car park and their kids can just get out and walk or ride the final 600 metres to school. Council is working closely with Western Port Water as two projects have been programmed for this section of Coronella Road. Whilst this may cause a delay in completion of the PATH project, working on both projects at once will prevent future disruptions for PATH users. It's anticipated the PATH will be ready to use by early May, weather permitting. Now, a reminder to all dog and cat owners out there, animal registration renewals for 2016-17 are due on the 10th of April. You can pay online through our website or be paid through your online banking. Please remember to keep your current yellow pet registration tags as we introduced a lifetime tag last year. So it means pet owners won't get a tag this year or in future years when they renew their animal regos. All cats and dogs over three months old and living in Bass Coast must be registered, but first they must be microchipped. Losing a pet can be very distressing, but having them registered and microchipped means that if your cat or dog gets out and is found by our rangers, we can help get him or her back to you as soon as possible. In residential areas, there is a limit of two cats and two dogs per property. If you're an animal lover and wish to have more animals than this, you can apply for an excess animal permit. For more information on anything and everything 
and pet registrations, please contact us on the numbers at the end of the show. Just nearly coming up, Lauren, but just before we go, we want to mention that as a reminder, we have two planners based in cows every Monday and Tuesday. So if you've got any planning related questions or want to lodge an application, a submission or an objection, you can do so at the Cows Customer Service Centre between 8.30 and 5pm on those days. Thanks, Steve. And that's all we've got time for this week. As always, if you have any questions or need more information about anything we've mentioned, give us a call on 1300 B Coast. That's 1300 226 278 or 03 5671 2211. And keep up to date on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Basco Shire or follow us on Twitter on at Bass Coast. Catch you next week for more council news. The Basco Shire Council Report is broadcast on Tuesday mornings at 9 30. Thursday afternoons at 4.30 and on Saturday mornings at 10 on your community station 3MFM. Audio and transcript is also available from our website, bascoast.vic.gov.au.